So, what did you do? At the Policia, I mean. What's up, guys? Thank you so much for joining me back. Uh, this is Chapter 4, The Flower Collector. I, uh, I worked as an investigator of sorts. Is that where you learned to draw? Yeah. Have you ever thought about taking up painting? You know, like, art and stuff. Uh, I haven't, um... <laughs> You'd probably be good at it. You should go down and meet up with Aldo. It's getting late. Sure, yeah. He should be at the... Alright, she's so gonna go meet up with Aldo. So hopefully he'll give he'll give some information. I don't think there's anything he can do here. Oh, I still got the camera. Oh look, it says LOL on there. Where is Aldo? Okay, park. I'm assuming that's the park down there. Oh, I see him. There he is. He's waiting in the church garden, as promised. Good. I'm on my way. There's a padre. Uh oh. He's not happy. <laughs> so, you see an owl? Did you see what just happened? The moment we started talking, Eusebio noticed us and made his way over. He interrupted Aldo and pretty much dragged him away. Did Aldo get the chance to say anything at all? He talked about seeing some tall fellow by the cabaret, nicely dressed. Then Eusebio interrupted him. Nothing else? Not really. Said he heard the shot right as it came through the archway. He took off the moment he saw the body. Maybe there's some other way to get that information from Aldo. Hey, maybe Aldo tells Eusebio more. Observe the plaza. Are they playing chess? Yes. Why don't you sneak over? Under the pillars? Yeah, they won't notice you. Word of the shooting. Uh, we're gonna have to look for other clues for now. All right, more clues. Who is this? Oh, this her. Whoa, what's down there? Is that a, a printing press? I think those mechanics are up to something. Concerned about getting in trouble, about people noticing them. So they are up to something? They didn't sound like criminals. More like they're trying to hide something. Them and everyone else around here. They talked about a beggar being there last night. I knew it. They are witnesses. And they lied to you. Guess so. Wonder why they would lie. This isn't getting me anywhere. People have too much baggage. I'll see if I can spot something. Lay low, don't draw attention. Yeah, yeah, whatever. All right, observe the plaza again. There's our friend. Oh, she's got something for us. Call. Doña Ana, are 
Are you there? Jorge, I was hoping you'd call. I don't see you talking to me. Did you find the killer? We have a lead. We found the lead, but nothing conclusive yet. I see. Who did your friend talk to? She's not my friend. I'm just helping her investigate a story. <laughs> Sounds friendly to me. We contacted the mechanics. We contacted the mechanics. No luck, said they were fast asleep. I think I saw the lights on in there. But the angle from my apartment makes it hard to make out. Interesting. We talked to Lola. I went and talked to Lola. She's a... Singer at the cabaret. Yes, I know her. Cute one. And popular. Is that so? Even the waiter at the cafe is trying to woo her. Seeing them takes me back to my younger years. Ha! Huh. Hmm. <laughs> Noted. Eusebio said he didn't see a thing. And he interfered with Melinda when she tried to question Aldo. Padre's just being a good shepherd. Protecting his flock. Hmm. And what would Aldo need protection from? Who knows? But they are close. I'm sure Padre has his reason. Thanks for your help. We'll talk more some other time. Let me know when I can come over with some home-cooked fideua. Shrimp fresh from the harbor. It's been too long since we sat down for a chat. Yeah, thanks. I'll be in touch. Hey, this might be a good time to look for some more scooter parts. Ugh, this again? I'm telling you, this is gonna lead nowhere. You never know where a lead might turn up. Let's at least look around for a few minutes. Fine. Alright, scooter parts. Is that one? Yep. I think there's a scooter part right by- Alright. Oh, another one. Archway. Scooter frame. How'd they do that? Don't underestimate bored children, I guess. She just left this one. I think I might have found the second this one too fast. Heavy. I think there's a scooter part right by the tree. Outside the repair shop. Alright. Alright, scooter parts. It's right by their nose. They don't want to see it. What were they thinking? Did she pick that up? Yeah, there's another one right here. There's something next to the phone booth. Okay. I'm not seeing any more, so hopefully that's it. it. That seems to be all of them. Cool. Finally, I'll pop over to the mechanics with their junk. Tell me when one of them exits the repair shop. Well, one of them is out. Exit the shop. Oh, well, maybe she's going. Nope, she's definitely not. Oh, 
Okay, cool, she's out. See if you can catch a glimpse inside while you're there. No need to tell me. Be on the lookout for other ways to investigate them. Right. Is that the sound of a car? Where? What's happening on the Cabernet roof? Does Carmen say to stand in there? Oh, there's a car. Where is it? Oh. Now, are you there? Come in. I've been here all this time, man. Did you just call me? A stranger who fits the description Aldo gave us just arrived at the cabaret. What, really? Could it really be the same guy? Hold on, I'll call in a moment. New clue added, cool. What's happening on the cabaret roof? Um, so, oh, maybe he's coming here. Yep, there he is. Rabbit. On the roof. Tall guy, talking to Carmen. I think it's our guy. What's he doing? So far only talking. But I gotta get out there. It's dangerous, but fine. I'll check if the door is clear. The bouncer is keeping watch downstairs. Maybe you can slip in when he's not looking. Get ready by the entrance. Where exactly? Oh, uh, where? By the car. By the car, to the left of the entrance. Wait for my mark. There she is. He's not looking. Go! I think he's a monkey. Yeah, definitely monkey. El Blanco. The white. Made it inside. Oh, what's she doing I there? I broke into Lola's apartment. You didn't. <laughs> she waved. Are you out of your mind? She's downstairs performing. It's now or never. You're wasting time. What about the rooftop? Just a quick peek. She works here. She might be involved. Where is she keeping her stuff? There are some papers on the desk by the wall. Good thing I still have my pocket camera. Old newspaper. With a handwritten message inside. What's it say? Some meeting, time and place. Somebody has been contacting her through old newspapers. Knew it. Jorge, I hear steps outside. There's a dresser at the back wall. Quick. Phew. I'll dial down the volume a bit. Oh, somebody's coming in. Oh, it's Lola. And the waiter. They argue about leaving together. He wants to go. Lola doesn't. She says she's left home behind enough times in the past. Alright, waiter's leaving. Uh, 
Ashley's living too. They left. You can get out. While you're there, how about you check the dresser too? Good call. I found her passport. Something strange. The print is smeared. Is it fake? There's also a curious photo. A teenage boy in the middle of some people. In the mountains. The insurgent type? No. More like hikers. The resemblance. Could that boy be Lola? <laughs> what? That's ridiculous. Ugh. Why is your first reaction always to judge? If this really is her, people can't find out about this. You don't know the shit people like her go through. I didn't mean... It's none of our business anyway. Seems clear. You can get up on the roof now. Watch out for El Blanco on the way. I've got this. So she's heading up to the roof, I believe. I'm up on the roof. Ah. Behind the access door. Where's the access door? I can't see it. El Blanco is leaving. And Carmen, I think. They went into the glass studio. Yeah, that's all I can see. Can you see a spot next to the glass from your side? Yep, sure can. Plant by the ledge. Looks large enough to give you cover. All right. Can you see what they're doing? They're inside. Should be safe. Head for the bush. Okay. I'll turn off the speaker for now. Be careful. They're really close. Mel. Shit. Oh, there she is. The tall guy. He's talking about a list. Seems really intent on finding it. Is policia. He said they have a suspect. They're definitely discussing the night. <gasps> uh oh. Do you see her? <sighs> I think he left. Phew. Oh, I've turned on the speaker again. Welcome back. I think it's safe to leave. I'm gonna stick around a little longer to make sure the heat is gone. Did you ever see that man when you were with the policia? Never. Could be a higher up. Could be new. Do you know anything about an important list or something like that? The policia keeps track of all sorts of things. Could be anything. Judging by his clothes and this conversation, he's both rich and influential. I'm worried about Lola. There's nothing we can do about it. Alright, she's back down. Observe the plaza. walking in. Why is she running after him? Wow, he really can be a bit dense sometimes, huh? He's trying to keep her from doing what she loves. They care about each other. Besides, what do you know about her life? You can't see everything through a pair of lenses. Hmm, seems like they're making... Emotions can be stormy, man. So they're making up. I hope they figure it out. 
Judging by that photo, her past is probably filled with chaos. Can't fault her for wanting to settle down. Yeah, thinking about it. You're probably right. I shouldn't have. You know. There you go. Wait for Melinda to I'm return. I'm heading back. Waited long enough. All right. Let's discuss everything when you get here. Come on, Mel. Hurry up. This is a lovely evening. Well, she knows to open the door, unless it's not her. Toki. Uh oh, not her. Hola, Jorge. How have you been? Oh hey, hola, Diego. Didn't expect a visitor this late. Been a long time, huh? It has. It has. How are you doing, old friend? I'm doing all right. You know how it is. Yes, yeah, my buddy from a long time ago. According to those pictures, that's him. Heard you got promoted. <laughs> so he's a dog, and I'm. Around, huh? I don't know. Am I my, my cat? Well, word is they got sick of your crying after I was taken off duty. <laughs> Actually, once I didn't have to drag you around everywhere, the commander finally saw my potential. <laughs> what a load of crap. I know I should have dropped by more. There's just been a lot going on at the station. Don't mention it. I get it. New responsibilities, living up to expectations. Yeah, yeah. And with the election coming up, and now the shooting. I heard you called it in. Saw it myself. I was right there on the balcony. Took you long enough to get the body moved. What's up with that? I know, I know. But like I said, a lot going on lately. Everyone works as fast as they can, you know that. Yeah. To be honest, I was hoping you'd seen something. Anything. You know how when we work together, every detail counted. Who's the body? Some pencil pusher. Uh, no one connected to the election, thank God. Everyone's on edge. The slightest spark could send this entire thing up in smoke. Didn't look like a robbery to me. I know. The whole situation's wrong. Help me out, will you? Please. Aldo is likely a witness. Don Anna is always watching the plaza. Um, let's do the, let's go with Aldo for now. There's a bum hanging out in the area. Harmless fellow. Doesn't seem the type to commit a serious felony. But he might have seen something. Makes sense. This is really helpful. Anyone else? There's an elderly lady. Lives across the street all by herself. She's usually up there watching the plaza. Uh, sounds like the perfect candidate for a witness. Yeah. Doña Ana's the name. It's on the doorbell. Great. I'll look into it. Anything else? You might want to talk to Padre Eusebio at the church. Was he there? In the middle of the night? Hey, you ask him. I can't do all your work for you. All right. I'll see what he knows. Anyone else? There was somebody. A girl, a woman, at the scene. At the scene of the crime? What was she doing? Uh, should I lie? I didn't see more of her. She hid her from the murder. Hmm, tough one, tough one. Let's be honest, maybe. Oh, I can't change it, can I? Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. You won't believe it, but she came up here. Said somebody was after her. Seemed innocent, so I let her in. Really? What if she'd been the murderer? Couldn't just leave someone in distress like that, you know? I took a chance. Anyway, she left in the morning. Oh, well, sounds like either a prime suspect or the perfect witness. Did she say who she was? Leave a number? Uh, nothing. I'm sorry. I see. All right. Hey, uh, you've been out of the game for a while. Don't beat yourself up over it. Anyone else you noticed? No one. 
Woke up the next morning and there the body was. All right. So who was the victim? Really? As sharp as ever. <laughs> now, we don't know for sure, but it looks like he was tied to some underground network. What, like activists? What do they care now with everything changing? Stir up conflict and panic. It's their only cause. Did you notice any new faces around here? Uh, let me think. A stranger visiting the cabaret, right? There's this fancy-looking tall guy. Has been coming to the cabaret a lot recently. Doesn't fit the local clientele? Exactly. Wears a suit, polished shoes, the whole shebang. Don't know what he's up to, but he seems to have been in meetings with the owner. Interesting. Anyone else? No, not really. I see. Oh, hey, I just wanted to say, uh, I know you've had it rough, and the pain, and I can only imagine the boredom. It wasn't your fault. You know that, right? I should have been there when it happened. It's all in the past. Forget it. Right. Well, uh, back to the problem at hand, huh? Has there been anything out of the ordinary? Anything at all? There's a printing press and a repair now shop. Now that you mention it, I did see something strange. There's an old printing press in the building, down by the plaza. Seems like it's been printing again. How's that strange? The place is a repair shop now. Oh. All right. That's kind of interesting, because they've been working on the same scooter for such a long time. So yeah, there's something else going on there. A singer from the cabaret got into an argument on the street with the waiter from the cafe, no less. It would seem like the usual love drama. No weapons involved. <laughs> right. Hey, uh... Heard anything from Ursula? She wrote the other day. Haven't opened the letter yet. Ah. I won't pry then. There's nothing more. If there was, I would have told you. Of course. I know that you're on our side. And, uh... What side is that? Tradition, of course. Uh-oh, that's probably her. Another visitor? You're quite popular, pal. Hola, Señor Jorge. Oh, hey, kid. Good to see you. Mama said to bring you some leftovers. We just had dinner. That's terribly nice of her. Tell your mom I said thanks. Yes, Senor Jota. We'll do so, Senor. Lovely kid. I'll take it. Don't really feel like eating. I think it's time for me to go. It's getting late. Yeah. Drop by again sometime. Don't leave me with the dust rats for too long, you hear? <laughs> Will do, Jorge. See you, buddy. Diego. All right, where's Melinda at? That was, uh, hmm. Hope Mel is all right. It's probably best to not have the two of them meet, at least for now. Hey, Mel, you there? Uh-oh. Hmm. Should finish up for tonight. Would be best to write down what we uncovered. Write down your findings. Alright, so I think I gotta open this guy up. No? Oh. No? Not in newspaper. Alright, maybe here somewhere? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. And that's probably the end of chapter 4, yep. Alright, thanks for watching guys, we'll see you in the next video for chapter 5.